Hey everyone, and welcome to part two of my playthrough of Nightmare Ned. This is Silent Noise Plays, and I'm Silent Noise. Uh, we're gonna begin, I'm gonna start here and just reopen the game. So you can actually skip all of this stuff in the beginning of the game by pressing spacebar. So I'm just gonna do that. So, oop, there we go. Didn't work at first. Okay, so we're back on the quilt to start the game. This is how every new game starts. If I press the escape key, I can go to this menu, and uh, there's quite a few options here. Um, so what we're looking at is take me back to the game, which is just like resume game. Uh, save this game. I don't want to do that, but if you save what's it, he says, what's your name? And you can put in your name. Um, I showed this in my other video. It's kind of neat if you save your game as Ned, he'll say like, hey, that's my name. So I'm, I'm going to try and do that later when I need to save the game. Uh, so we'll do Stop. that. You made a mistake. I didn't make a mistake. He thinks I did. But um, so there's what keys do I use? So they're actually, sorry for <laughs> interrupting Ned. Uh, there actually is a joystick option for this game and two button gamepad. I I don't have either of these, unfortunately. I'm just using the keyboard, but we can have a look at them. So, uh, walk right, walk left, climb up ladder, duck, climb down ladder, options screen, uh, take me back to the quilt, and then it says right there, careful, you'll lose an hour, and horizontal jump, vertical jump, action key slash yo-yo. So, those are all the controls, if anyone was curious about that. Just figured I would kind of show off the menu before we continue. Uh, plain old game. So we will come to that because we're gonna have to load the game from last time. So Stop. cancel. You made a mistake. <laughs> um, play a new game. I don't know if this actually restarts um, the opening intro or if it just takes you right back to the quilt. I think it just takes you back to the quilt. I might try that. And if you say uh, I'm done, uh, he will uh, say like are you sure and then he'll make a comment when you quit the game which I can show that too in a second and uh, music it's kind of weird you have to uh, press like right now I'm pressing the left arrow key to go around like up here it makes sense but then once you get down here it kind of goes backwards um, music you can change the volume with the arrow keys so that, that's kind of helpful if it's just a little bit too loud or you can turn it off completely if you want music off and then he says that. Music on. Yep. So they put a lot of like just kind of little details here and there, especially in the menu. He doesn't say anything if you put it all the way up. But. So that's just kind of cool. Uh, who made this? This will take you directly to the credits. And uh, when you look at the credits like this, Ned makes like a little comment about it as well. Okay. Let's see the real. So yeah, that's just kind of cute. Um, I'll I'll show the credits at the end of the game. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll show what happens when you quit the game. Actually, so I'll go. I'm done. You have to go. See you later. And he actually says uh, quite a few different things when you quit the game. So we can maybe show off a couple. I I don't know how often he changes what he says. It's kind of random. Um, but yeah, we'll skip this. Skip that, skip that, and now we're back on the quilt. So if we press escape, and I'll go, I'm done Too again. scared to continue? So now he's mocking me. Come back anytime. I'll yeah. Be right here. So it it's cool. He, I think he says like maybe two other things. I might show that later. I don't know. But I figure we'll get back to the game now. go. Uh, press escape. Or, yeah, so we we left off in this level, the uh, attic, basement, and beyond. I'm going to attach a video link that I, I think is pretty funny to um, kind of say what the attic, basement, and beyond is kind of like, because I think that it's a play on the bed, bath, and beyond, like the store. Uh, and I feel like they could have used it for the bathroom level, but then like you can't really use the store's name in your game but anyways uh yeah check out the description for just kind of a funny 
Anyway, so uh, instead of just going right here because we'll lose our progress, I'm gonna go to the menu. Oop, shouldn't have pressed that. Back up. Sometimes the audio just lags and sometimes it's completely fine. It's so weird. So press escape and uh, play an old game. Oh, I forgot to, uh, sorry. He said this might help. Um, I forgot to look at these. <laughs> so yo-yo and jump and then figure out the rest yourself, I guess, because <laughs> it's a joystick. Um, and then two button gamepad. Yo yo and jump. Yeah. Okay, so uh da -da. so play an old game. And I probably should have titled this something more like what location we we're in, but I know where we left off, so we're gonna enter that. And um every time you enter uh like a save game, it will drop you off at the very beginning of that level. It won't take you back to where you were, but it will save your progress in the level, I think. Um, so like if you've revealed more of the shadow creature, it will remember that. So that's good. Load the game. Okay, so I think we fall down again. Or I don't know how we nope, we just walk in. So I kinda wanna get out of the way because these cats are a little annoying. It doesn't really matter where you stand, the glass <laughs> gets you. <laughs> so I'm gonna go this way. Right now, um this rug underneath me, uh I can walk over it because uh, it's not active, but this will be a little place we can go to in a second. So, uh, if you look up the ladder, you can see that there's a little apple sim symbol. So that's um that's the school. So if we get rid of this cat, we can climb the ladder and go to the school. Um, I won't be doing that, but I will get rid of the cat because I think that's part of the the puzzle right here. So we just wait till he comes down and use the yo-yo. And I think we have to do this three times to get rid of the cat, and then we have to do it three times on the other cat. So, come on back. Yeah, it's a little tedious, but oh well. Just one more and he'll get out of here. Alright, so now let's go this way. Okay. So we'll get him. So this ladder doesn't have uh, the apple symbol, so this ladder will actually take you to a different part of the level rather than actually a different zone altogether. Okay, so now you hear a sound coming from over here, and that's because uh, the puzzle has opened up for under this rug. Um, so we can either go up the ladder or uh, through the rug. I'm gonna go through the rug. Um, it gets a little hectic down here, so I don't know uh, how much I can really talk if it gets too loud down here, but we'll see. So yeah, we fell in. It's weird that the hole wasn't there before. I don't know how that happened. Okay, I'm just going to uh, turn the music down just a bit. I like the music, but just a little loud. Here we go again! Okay, um, so all of that stuff you got a vacuum, a table, and a chair that just started flying around. Sometimes you get hit by the chair and Ned will just kind of fall down. Um, that's okay. Um, so I'm just looking around. So there's some posters in the back. Those don't really matter, but um, what we need to do is get up and out of here. And uh, we do that by using the yo-yo on the stuff that's flying around to kind of build a ladder back up. And we can use the yo-yo on this... Oh, we got hit by the chair. We can use the yo-yo on this lady. I think she gives us like little tips or information about what's kind of going on right now. So use the yo-yo on her. And they even put, um, like she's got a little necklace and they even put a spiral on her necklace. There's spiral imagery all over this game. And it's kind of crazy, but it's pretty awesome. I'm glad you could drop in, Ned. The planets present an opportune time to tell your planetary fortune. Okay. Oh, I, I don't know why she does that. She looks like she's mad. She's like, humph. Anyway, so she has a few things to say. Saturn rises in your third house, alerting of a dilemma. 
I, I don't know what that is supposed to mean. I thought she gave advice, and that was just confusing. <laughs> A lost meteor must use its resources to return to orbit. Okay, so now now she's trying to give little hints of how to get out of here. She's talking about this stuff floating around. We need to align the objects and like align the planets, kind of thing. A rolling stone gathers no mass. Sorry, wrong dream. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Three remote moons of Pluto create a unique ladder to the heavens. This game was made back when Pluto was still a planet. <sighs> a vacuum in space presents a rung to another galaxy. So yeah, she has quite a few things to say. Ooh, I see a tower. A tower of space debris forming a ladder to the outer limits. I feel like her hat kind of looks like a little fish. Um, like, like a fish is kind of on her head kind of thing. How many things does she say? Hey, kid, I'm running out of hints. Just stack the flying stuff and climb out of here. I got a break coming up. Oh, boy. Um, I don't know if she's supposed to be like a lamp, but... I don't know. I don't know if somebody else can figure out what she's supposed to be. My best guess is a lamp. Um, okay, so we're gonna use the yo-yo and get out of here. Oh, I have to aim a bit better. There we go. Shift, and then you can um, either shift jump, I think, here, or press control and he'll automatically jump to the next ledge. So I press control there. Use the yo-yo, and jump up again. Oh, missed it. There we go. So you can't just jump up, you have to actually use it as a ladder by pressing the up arrow. But that's how you solve that. And now we need to be careful not to walk over the rug again or we'll fall in and have to solve that puzzle again and I don't want to do that. So press control to jump over it. And um, uh, I might go up the ladder later. Uh, we might have to get rid of the cat again but after you've gotten rid of the cat once, if it comes back again you just hit it once with the yo-yo and it'll disappear. You don't have to use it three times again. But we will go up that ladder later. Okay, so this is kind of a neat little, um, I don't know what you would call it, but the wallpaper right here, like there's a lot of different kinds of imagery everywhere and it, it's a little creepy, but it's just cool that they have um, like cartoon art and then photos and it's just a lot of stuff all over the place. Okay, so. This guy is, um, he, he's, he's something. I think he's a zebra, and he's sitting on, uh, this trap door, which looks like it has, like, the mascot for Disturbed underneath it. Um, anyway, so what we need to do is get rid of him, and using the yo-yo on him doesn't do anything at all. He doesn't care. But you'll notice in his hand, he's got, like, a little, uh, record envelope sleeve thing um, and there's a record player over here so I think he's listening to his favorite song <laughs> if you could call it that um, yeah so this is annoying um, but let's use the yo-yo on it so I don't know what kind of zebra has teeth like that but that's terrifying and you'd think getting the bug out of this would make it stop skipping, but it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> that's the only part of the game that's actually supposed to skip. Uh, I mean, well, the <laughs> audio skips where it's not supposed to. Um, yeah, so now the trapdoor is open, we can go down there. Um, kind of creepy, noticing above Ned the skeleton kind of lined up with the zebra horse thingy up there. It is creepy and there's a skeleton and there's a rib cage on the right but anyways enough about that um, so we can go to the left or we can go through this hole um, I think that will kind of keep going through before we kind of go off course so I'll go through the hole a little bit later but, geez that guy's creepy okay so danger do not touch you don't have to listen to that at all you can just use your yo-yo on it and it's um, there's a couple different kinds of bugs that can come out of here but it's just kind of for show this thing but yeah 
It was that that little guy right there. I can't follow him. Um, but I think the box will be full of something again the next time we pass through here. Um, you can see in the background there's like an old lady, I think, and a cat that are kind of wrapped up like mummies and it's creepy. That That's the whole game, it's creepy. Um, so over here you can see again that um, the object that we can interact with is colored differently than the background and I think it's supposed to be like a little little bird thingy. Um, if we just ignore it, it doesn't matter. Um, but if we hit it the next time we walk over here, uh, some birds will be mad at us for, for hitting this little bird in the bird cage. But we're gonna do it. I'm in the wrong spot. Let's try that again. Okay, so it fell down and now if we go this way... Hey. Yeah, I, I don't quite... Oh, I get it. Never mind. I think that's supposed to be uh, uh, da, da, da. the birds, like the movie. Um, Alfred Hitchcock? Jeez, I don't know why that name just totally went away for a second. Um, but I think uh, Hitchcock had a lot of uh, inspiration, or he was a lot of inspiration for uh, some big aspects of this game and that being the birds would be one of them. Um, not that, that, that wasn't anything, but um, I talked to Walt Dorn on Instagram at one point and asked about the spiral imagery and uh, he said that was inspired by Alfred Hitchcock's uh, Vertigo. So a lot of inspiration, Got, I heard it right from him, he's the art director, so that's that's really cool. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna keep moving. And like, there's nothing else you can do with that. It's like, I, I wish I could just use my yo-yo on that, but nothing happens. So now we can go over here. This lamp looks familiar, but it's not the same dancing lamp from earlier. This one doesn't dance at all. Uh, but you can use your yo-yo on him. And this is kind of just for fun. I think sometimes you can get like um, a piece of the shadow creature added by completing this little thing, but sometimes it doesn't. It's random. But we just walk through here. Yeah, so just kind of funny. Uh, we do it again. And there's only three different ones. <laughs> so yeah, he gets attacked by a chair. And then this one's kind of cute. I like this one. Because <laughs> it's Disney and I mean, yeah, <laughs> that one's pretty straightforward. If you do it again, um, it just starts from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like we didn't uh, progress from doing that. Okay, so before I go any further here, this part drives me nuts because you can jump past so much stuff in the game and it won't interact with you except for this area. You cannot jump through it without the shadows because um, like the shadows kind of come out and get scary when you go through here and I've always wanted to try and just jump past them and see if I can skip it but I can never do it. We're gonna try it again but I can never skip it. Oh game froze for a second. I don't- that's weird. <laughs> um, so I think we got that from doing the um, the change curtain thing, but it just came out a little late. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so we completed a puzzle, I, I guess. Alright, let's keep trying to jump past this stuff. Whoop. Whoop. Nope, didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, so that stuff comes out. It's just to scare you. Um, yeah, so we'll just keep walking. That guy on the wall, if he moved, that would be that'd be really freaky. Um, yeah, there's nothing you can do here. You can't use your yo-yo on anything. So, right here is a small puzzle. It looks like this bookcase can move, and that's because it can. I, I just noticed, um, if you see the statue on the right side of the screen, 
and then you look on the bookshelf about three shelves down there's like a tiny version of that statue that's kind of cool um so yeah uh you need to use your yo-yo on the bookshelf to get it to move otherwise you'll just smack into it so we'll use actually can i jump no i don't think i can kind of glitch through it so we'll use the yo-yo and now it spins um it kind of makes me think of young frankenstein when <laughs> they kind of put the candle back um so yeah it only spins for a minute and then uh it stops so we have to use the yo-yo again so we have to go through while it's spinning okay all right so this part you have two ways you can go um the camera also gets really weird right here uh let's see if i can get it to do it yeah there it goes i don't know what it's doing and nope it's just i i've gotten it to go up way higher than it should hmm I think it's because it wants to show you that there's a staircase you can go down, but I feel like it just kind of goes a little overboard sometimes. Yeah, anyways. So we can uh, go down, and um, there is a, I guess, NPC you could say, that we need to interact with, or we can keep going, and... You can you can see her down there. Uh, it's it's a dragon with uh, and it's a girl with her head coming through the wall. Um, hmm. I don't know if we should go left or down first. Let's go down first. So we press uh, left and then we press down and that'll make us go down the stairs. If we just press down, we'll we'll just duck. You have to press left first. And silly making Ned do that. So keep going. And then, yeah, so the stairs are broken. It looks like there's a, a book that fell on the stairs and broke it, or I don't know, someone broke the stairs. I don't know who it was. And you can see that this dragon is <laughs> not just a head on the wall, she's under the stairs as well. Uh, this part is another way to solve a puzzle, but it takes a long time because she has I think three or four different stories to tell you and they're all like those kind of <laughs> he threw it right at her um <laughs> uh it's kind of like those creepy campfire stories that like um yeah they're, they're just creepy stories that she has to tell you and uh what's really awesome about this character even though i don't particularly particularly uh care for her stories is that she's voiced by, I can't remember her name, I'm gonna have to look that up, but um, the lady who does her voice was in uh, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles as uh, the lady that worked at the car rental place. I'm gonna put a link to that because that scene is the best scene ever. Um, and this, this lady is in a lot of different things. She was in like Monkey Island 4, she did a voice. Um, I saw her on an episode of Golden Girls. Like, she's in everything. Um, but yeah, so we have to listen to her stories. I mean, we don't have to, but we'll listen to at least one of them. If we need uh, to solve another... Oop. If we need to, uh, like, uncover more of the shadow creature, if other stuff doesn't work, we'll come back for the rest of her stories. But we'll just listen to one right now. A friend of a friend took a trip to Acapulco. On the second day, she awoke with a zit the size of Puerto Rico. But a zit it was not, for it would not pop. She pinched and she picked and she pulled out the stops. But it grew and ballooned and it started to move. And then all of a sudden, a burst filled the room. She ran to the mirror to sneak a peek and screamed at the sight as baby spiders emerged from her cheek. That's nasty. <laughs> you should probably get that looked at. Um, so yeah, her, her stories are very unsettling. Um, yeah. So we can go back up. You can see there's tiny little chairs down there. I'm not sure if that's a perspective thing or, or like if um, those chairs are actually really tiny. I think it's a perspective thing. Um, yeah. But uh, so we can't go down there. Ned says no. 
and that kind of sucks because it looks like it'd be fun to explore down there. But we're gonna go back up and you can jump up the stairs which is really slow but kind of funny. This makes the camera mess up a bit too. Oh. See now it's trying to catch up. <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah so it fixed itself though. Okay there we go. Alright so we're gonna go this way and this is the dreaded wallpaper I wish the camera would go back up now so you could see it. Um, you can jump past this wallpaper and it won't get you, um, but if you walk past it this wallpaper will do something. So I'm going to jump past it first and then I'll walk past it to show it. There we go, camera move back up. Oop, come back, there we go. Okay, and there's a skeleton in the wall, that's creepy. So yeah, the pit. The wallpaper didn't do anything to us, but if we're just strolling through all casual... Oop. Oop. So, one more step and it's time for... I don't want to spoil it, I'll, I'll just show it. So would that be an atomic wedgie, I think, where the waistband goes over your head? Um. Yeah, that's all the wallpaper does. And it got me again, so... <laughs> I guess you have to jump past it or it'll keep giving you wedgies. Um, I don't know why the wallpaper does that, but it's funny. So we'll keep going. Uh, so yeah, I think it'll just give you a wedgie every time you go past there. So now we'll go this way. And I don't think that counts as like progressing in the level of interacting with that. This section sometimes does, sometimes doesn't. Um, so these guys are really creepy. You've got a fish bat thingy? It kind of looks like a fish to me. Um, and then you've got freaky cat dog. Uh, duck feet, I don't know. Uh, the ladder up there has some eyes. And then platypus moose I don't <laughs> I don't know <laughs> um, so yeah these guys can't hurt you right now you can't interact with them uh, Ned doesn't care and um, so you go over here and there's this little switch that says ladder uh, we'll interact with that in a second uh, so then uh, you can see some signs in the back and then in front of Ned there's the weird fish bat thing. So I don't know if this is like, there's kind of some, I don't know, circus imagery over here. So these, I think these are supposed to be kind of like, just, um, I don't know what you would say, but very, very strange, like circus freak kind of monster animal things. Um, so we will interact with them in a minute. We're just gonna keep going. And it's a, kind of a jackrabbit, jackalope kind of thing. Um, yeah, so now we see some pictures. Um, right above us, uh, the, the two colored, like, um, I don't know if it's a painting or whatever, but the, the two people right here, um, we actually will find them a little later. Uh, they are in this level and they're super freaky. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll see them when we see them. I don't know why their pictures are down here, but yeah, so we'll see them in a little bit. Um, the lady directly above me, you can see that she's holding a salt shaker uh, in her picture. She just loves salt. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. And she's got like a little button on her head which looked kind of similar to um, the the lady that was kind of wrapped up like a mummy that we saw earlier. I don't know if that's related at all, but yeah. So she really likes salt. Um, the other guy, he's, he's a chunky dude, so he really likes to eat. And um, then the picture right above us is Ned's mom. And that is implied by this crack in front of us with the whole saying of uh, step on a crack, break your mother's back. And so here we go. 
<laughs> I don't know why I find this so funny that it just like keeps going. It's not just a one and done, it's just... <laughs> I don't know, I just think it's funny and then she's totally fine. Uh, so we keep stepping. <laughs> I didn't step on it that time. There's no crack over here. Okay. And so now right above us, um, the, like, not, not the white picture, but the one with the red background, uh, those are, uh, twins that are attached, and, um, I think it's kind of more like the circus freak kind of thing going on. Um, and, like, the, uh, the shadow creature that represents this area are twins that are attached as well, so there's... Kind of a lot of imagery of like super weird and strange things. Oh, you did around the world, I think. Um, and then, so those two characters will meet as well. Um, we'll meet them in the same area that we'll meet uh, the other two on the right. Um, and then, so above that picture, I think that's gotta be uh, like game developers. I don't know who's all in that picture, but I'm pretty sure that's who it is. Um, so that, that's kind of neat. Oop. Okay. So, for this next part... Ain't you ever seen a pumpkin before? <sighs> hmm. Okay. So, um, now we're back where we started. So, looks like the cat is actually gone. I was expecting him to come back. Um, okay, well, uh, hmm. Yeah, you know I'm gonna go this way. Because this part you can actually miss completely if you complete everything down here first. Oop, sorry. Um,. Because I, I know I did that in my 20th anniversary walkthrough, is I did everything down here, I never hit this ladder, and turns out you can complete this part of the level without going up there ever. And it's kind of a really big area to miss, so it was a bit of a bummer that I didn't need to do it. So, we hit the ladder, and uh, these guys... They, they need to be taken down so we can get the ladder because I think the ladder's a bit too scared to come down right now. So if we get too close, they'll hurt us. So we just use the yo-yo. We just use the yo-yo, Ned. Okay, and this one will scratch you with his duck foot. I think we can jump past him. Oh, no, we can't. I lied. So we'll use the yo-yo. But if you if you go all the way around, which I don't want to do, um, that one on the other side will scratch you as well. i um, pretty sure it's just the same animation. But uh, uh, now I'm tempted to, <laughs> to see. Uh, you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to go fast. We're going to go all the way around and see what he does on the other side. Watch out. Backbreaker coming through. You can kind of race the camera. Oh, the cat jumped away. Or ran away. He didn't really jump away. Okay. And the zebra's gone. Oh, am I going to go in there automatically? Oh, no. Woo! Just missed it. <laughs> we'll come back later. I just want to see if anything happens. Come on. Nope, nothing. Okay. Oreo? Ooh. Huh. So yeah, that, that lady's got kind of the bun on her head like the other one, so it could be the same person, I don't know. Do the birds get us again? Nope. Oh, come on. We'll let them get us again. Ooh. Keep going. And we'll just keep jumping. That's kind of the fastest way to move around. Whoop. 
This part's kind of laggy, I think. Just because there's an animation coming up or something. Oof. Oop. My yo -yo. So, we'll keep going. Jump over here. Try and race the camera again. Come on. And the wallpaper went back up. Okay. Alright, we're back. No. Okay, well, I learned something new. They. That guy on the left came back to life and they all went behind the cage again. So. Alright. Lesson learned. <laughs> Jeez. I went all the way around and they just went right back to how they were. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Come on. And it's kind of gross that bugs come out of them. And this guy, I think, bites your head. I don't know what he did. That was the wrong end. <laughs> he just, like, disappeared into us. So, we just used the yo-yo on him. Ned? <laughs> you just gotta use the yo-yo on him. You're missing completely. There we go. Okay, so we solved part of the puzzle. And now... You can see that they're not actually attached. She's holding something. She's holding the other head. Uh, okay, so now the ladder has come down and we can go up. So we just press up and Ned will climb up automatically. There's even little spirals on the ladder. They're just, they're everywhere in the game. Okay. So, um, if we go to the left, we will progress through this section. And if we go to the right, we will see that if we keep going to the right, we'll go to uh, the doctor dentist area. And I don't want to do that right now, so we're going to go to the left. So we'll see you later. And that must be where the mascot for Disturbed went. He's hiding back there now. <laughs> Um, so this um, looks like snakes and it looks scary, but it's really not. I think it's actually one of the cutest things in the game. We go over here, and th there's nothing you can do in here. It's just to scare you. Okay, and they're so cute. So yeah, these are. Little dogs that are looking at the steak that just won't seem to cook for some reason. Um, yeah, uh, the one right in front of me has like one stripe and then the other two kind of look the same. So we should help them out because they're hungry little puppies and so here we go. Hi, I'm Sally and this is my friend with the string, Sandy Patty Cake. Hi, Sandy Patty Cake. I rub you a rock. Creepy. Found Sandy in the trash. Can you believe someone threw her out? Um. I found nearly everything right here. My secret treasure chest. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. Promise? Cross my heart. So Ned kind of froze mid-animation there. He was supposed to be facing her the whole time, but he was kind of stuck in like little uh, Sasquatch pose kind of thing. But yeah, so we just completed the zone. Um, I didn't mean to, but it is random what things unlock it and what things don't. Um, so yeah, we completed the level. We could just leave if we wanted to, but um, we'll miss out on what's upstairs. So we're gonna go up the stairs. If you jump, you'll go right on the stairs, and if you don't jump, you'll just walk past it. I think if you hold the up arrow while you walk, you'll also go up the stairs. Yeah. Um, I've had the camera mess up really bad right here before. You can see on the right it's already uh, pulling the texture. Oop, there it goes. And I don't know why it seems to do that right here. It'll fix itself once we get up here, but yeah, there we go. It's just really weird. I don't know what causes that. 
And it always looks like you can fall down this hole right here, but you miss it, so it's okay. Um... So these two, um, they're talking about a key, and meanwhile they're juggling a key. And um, right now they're not, it's just bombs, so you have to wait until they have the key. Was my foot. Was not. Um, was too. Sorry, I just had to take a break for a second. I just paused the game, so we'll go right back to it. Okay. To the nightmare. Okay, so we didn't miss anything. I'm strange. No, I'm strange. No, you're true. Oh, I thought you were true. You can kind of read their shirt. Have you fun. Stepped on my foot. That was my foot. Was not. Uh, was too. What? Stage appearance? Stage something? Now I feel like I can't read it all. But yeah, if you want to read their shirt, you can try I'm and read strange. their shirt. No, I'm strange. So no, we're gonna wait till true. they juggle the key. Oh, I thought you were true. I'm too strange to be true. Oh, it's sure. it's not too important for us to get the key because we're not gonna be using that shortcut. Hey, hey, who's got the key? But that was just for a shortcut. Hey, who's got the key? So you heard that the key flew away and a car started because that was a car key, but um, so you can also make a bomb fly away and it just explodes. Alright you two, I'm going this way. So that's all you can do with them. Um, pretty small interaction, but we'll keep going this way. So look who it is. It's the lady who likes the salt and has the funny bun. So, she's like sitting on some rims for some reason. Um, it, I guess it's because there is a car over here, it's just not right here, so that's probably why that's there. Uh, we can walk past her, she won't do anything to us right now. Uh, and you can see there's a really big rib cage over here. And this guy's reaching for the salt, or... He, he's kind of got a Winnie the Pooh situation over here where he's stuck, um, but we're not going to help him. I don't like him. He's got like blood on his uh, little bandana there, so ugh. yeah, I don't like him. He's even got like food printed on his shirt. He's got like meats and cheeses, so yeah. I feel like um, he would fit in really well in that Little Nightmares game as one of the guests. Sorry, I'm not trying to spoil that game. Um, I don't think that's a spoiler. There's large people in the game. Anyways, so we go over here and Ned's like, oh there's a hole and I can't go in it, but uh, you see over to the right there's a ladder, so there must be a way to get over there. And there is. Uh, one thing before I go over there. Uh, kind of the middle of this tree, close to the top, it looks like the letter E. I'm not sure why. Anyways, keep going this way. Um, so what we need to do is use uh, the yo-yo on the pepper over here, but unfortunately doing that will enable this lady's salt habit that she has, um, but you'll see what happens if we hit the pepper. So we made him sneeze. Oh, she's not doing it. There she goes. Oh boy. She kind of sounds like Marge Simpson with her little laugh. Um, so yeah, we made him sneeze and he blew the rib cage over here. And now we can get up to that nasty thing up there. So we'll climb this. And I don't know, this this part is like kind of disturbing, but like I don't understand what's happening. Like I don't know what this thing is, but it turns us into a slug, so I guess it's a weird slug thing. So we just walk up to it and it automatically explodes. So now we're a slug. And uh, apparently if you pour salt on a slug, that will kill them. I think it like dehydrates them like crazy. And so that's exactly what's going to happen to us. It's like guaranteed you're going to get hit by the salt unless you time it perfectly, which is really hard to do. 
Um, yeah, so we just need to get through it. Sometimes you can get stuck for a little bit. And we kind of... <laughs> we can make little silly sounds. We can jump. So that's cute. We can't use the control button. That doesn't do anything. And spacebar doesn't do anything right now either. Um, yeah, so if we go that way, I think we'll just turn back to normal. But we want to go this way. <laughs> Uh, I'll wait for her to do it. Okay. No. She still got me. Alright. So, we managed to get out of it. Um, I'm kind of surprised that you don't need to worry about this guy. That, like, he doesn't eat you or something. But he doesn't care. He can jump onto his fork. He doesn't care about that either. So... Yeah, you turn into a slug so you can get through this hole in the wall. Um, something kind of funny here that they forgot to uh, put a wall in front of this little spot. So if you jump right here, Ned comes out. Like You can see that they, they kind of got it over here. But I guess they assumed nobody would try to jump right there. But it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll keep going. Okay... So now we turn back to normal. Um, I think that's supposed to be clouds on the right. I don't know. They look kind of boxy. So we'll go up the ladder. Okay. So now there's a picture of a spring. And just because it's a picture doesn't mean it doesn't work. Just like a spring would. So we just jump on it. Whee. And here's the car. Okay, yeah, the, the rims are missing on the car. and Yeah, uh, it is running though. You can just barely hear that the, the motor's going. Um, if you use the space bar, I think it'll open the door and you can see there's a little tombstone on there. Um, and that'll take you to the graveyard. And we were... We were just there, we don't need to go back, um, so we won't be doing that right now, but if you want to know where that secret passageway is, that's where it is, um, and there'll be a little animation, the, the car turns into a spaceship and takes you to the graveyard, nothing makes sense, but yeah, that's what happens there. If we go this way, you can see this is where some of the bombs landed too. I, I think that's supposed to be a hint. If you don't get the key, you see that the bombs are up here, so you're like, okay, so if I hit the key, it should come up here too, and so it just automatically goes right in the car. Like, that's some good aim. Uh, so yeah, we'll go this way. And we're back here. And we don't need to deal with anything else over here unless we want that secret passageway. Um, I think getting that key, uh, you can get, uh, like, some of the shadow creature unlocked if you haven't gotten to that point yet. Um, but we've already completed the level, so we're gonna go this way. And, you know, even though we completed the level, doesn't mean we can't explore the stuff that we missed. So let's go this way. Oh! You can see they finished the stake as well, that's kind of cool. Okay. <laughs> I love how unfazed Ned is when he's just walking along, like, he just doesn't care. Jump. Okay. You don't have to jump there. I just did that for fun. And we'll go back down. Now, I'm thinking the next level that we'll do will either be the bathroom level or the doctor dentist level. But I don't know which one I should do. Um, like, I... I might go to one, but if, if you guys really want me to do one more than the other, you can leave a comment and I'll try and do that one instead. And like, I'll cover everything, but just if there's something else that you'd rather see me do next. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Oh, sorry. Oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why that cracks me up. Okay, uh, I think I'll be doing the school very last. Um, 
there's this one part in the school that ev almost every time I've tried it, either it goes well and I get it on the first try, or it crashes the game, or it, um, it, I'll have to explain it when I get there, but I'd rather save that level for last just in case something goes amiss with that, so. Yeah, we'll do the school very last. So go this way, and now we'll go up the ladder and see what's up there. <laughs> so that's where it took us, just to the next screen. I forgot. Okay, and now the trapdoor. I know that this takes us to a little location where you can either go through a secret passageway or um, you can just come right back out and I think you come out um, through the gramophone. I always forget what they're called. Is it a gramophone? Or that thing right there. Okay, so let's go down the hole. So... <laughs> Uh, I've gotten stuck here before, um, I'm a little stuck now, but that's okay, I'll just go over here. So every time the rat comes past you, he creeps you out and makes you stop for a second, which makes you catch on fire by the furnace there. Um, not a big deal, so, uh, we can go to the right and we'll just go back to the level. Or if we go left, you can see these rats are all going to the bathroom on the left. You can see there's a little toilet symbol there. Uh, and that's because the, the bathroom level is actually full of rats. So that's kind of a hint that that's where they're going. So that's kind of cool. But uh, we're going to go this way. You can't attack the furnace as much as I would like to. He seems to be aiming at something. So come on. I don't know. That'd be cool if you could hit it, but I don't think I can. Dude, just come on. <sighs> come on. Yeah, so I can't do it. I'm getting stuck. Oh, no. Let me out of here. Go, 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 go. Okay, going this way. So yeah, that's all that that area is. And then we come right back here. We can't close this thing. And it's kind of weird that he uh, pointed down for a second. I don't think I can make it if I jump back this way. Okay, I was wrong. So we'll go back this way. Um, so aside from listening to the rest of the dragon stories downstairs, I think that about covers it for everything that's in this level. Um, I can fall back down here again if you want. It's the same thing she might say. Nope, she didn't say anything. I don't know what this- oh, it's planets, that's what it is. Okay. Come on. Get it. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. And that one. Come on! <laughs> Get it! Oh my god, there we go. Okay. Climb back up. I know if you take too long, they'll all take off again. But yeah, nothing exciting happened down here. Okay, so let's go this way. Um, just to show it, I will listen to the other two stories. I think it's two that the uh, the dragon has. It, it's not just an excuse for me to do this again. Kind of cool though. If you saw the little animation, the crack actually went further up the wall. I don't know if it did that every time. I'll have to look again. Anyways, we'll leave her alone. Okay. I'll just jump past here. Oop. So, once you complete this- Oh, I messed up the camera. Once you complete this section, it stays completed, so that's kind of good. Even if you leave and come back, it stays like that. Okay, so we're gonna- Ned? Okay. <laughs> the game froze, that scared me. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna jump past these guys. We don't want to wedge you right now. Go over here and then take a run at it and go this way. And you can jump down the stairs. It's a lot faster. And then you're on the railing! It's kind of silly. 
and he's like, oh no, I can't go that way, even though he's on the railing. Um, so yeah, I'll listen to her other stories. You can skip ahead a little bit if you don't want to listen to it. Um, but yeah, I'll just do that. My next door neighbor, Emily Grave, gave her poodle a bath on too cold a day. The poor dog shivered, shook, and cried out, but there wasn't a doggy hair dryer about. Then all of a sudden, Miss Grave lit up. The microwave, she thought, would dry up the pup. So she placed wet Henry on the carousel tray and smiled as he rotated in an auto show way. He yapped and he barked and then he blew up. Miss Grave learned the lesson. Never microwave your pup. Yeah, that's something you should know, like, before you do that. <laughs> um, that makes me think of Maniac Mansion when you put the hamster in the microwave. Oh boy, never never do that. Um, so yeah, that's another one of her stories. I think she only has one more. I'll check and see if she has another. If, it, if she goes on repeat, I'll just leave. A friend was parked in a car on a date in the dark. Her boyfriend told the story of the escaped convict Marvin the Shark. Marvin, it seemed, had only one hand, the other a hook caked with blood and a small sticker that read Made in Japan. A scratch at the door caused the couple to flee down the curvy road to the town of Franey and into the garage. And what did they see? But a bloody, rusty hook stuck to the door handle as plain as could be. A gasp and a sigh at the terrible sight, barely escaping the things that go scratch in the night. Yeah, so that's that's a classic story of the hook hand guy and all that. Um, so yeah, we'll see if she has any more. I think that's the last one. A friend was parked in a car on oh, a date in the shut up. Her okay, boyfriend bye. Told the story <laughs> you just said that? I'm getting out of here. Marvin, it seemed, had only one yeah, so she's only got three stories. Caked with blood and a small sticker that read "Made in Japan." <laughs> Look how she keeps going. Yeah. Okay. Can I jump past it now? No, I cannot. So yeah, uh, that's everything for this level. Um, I guess I didn't actually decide where I wanted to go. So bathroom or doctor dentist. Um, hmm. I think I'll go to the bathroom level. I think I'll I'll do that. And if you're like, no, I want to see the uh, doctor dentist level, then let me know in the comments, and I'll do that instead. So we need to go through this trap door. Or you know what? Uh, instead, we're gonna go to the quilt to get to the bathroom. Or, I'm gonna show the secret passageway and then I'm gonna go to the quilt and then come back just so you can kind of see all the different places to go. <laughs> okay, gotta get past this guy. Okay, can I hit him out? It looks like I can hit that thing, but nothing happens. Eat my yo yo! Oh jeez. Jeez, oh, that sounded like Fargo. Ah oh, jeez. Okay. That was an R O U S, if you know what that is. Oh yeah, that's a scary looking toilet. And I forgot to mention as like one of the other fears with bathrooms is like kids, kids being afraid they're gonna get sucked down the drain. Um, this level is incredibly glitchy. Um, and but you can see that the way that I'm running the game it's not doing the speed glitch with the rats falling so that's awesome. Um, but we're gonna come back in a second and so I'm gonna go to the quilt first. So I press Q. Whoa! The sound is glitching like crazy. I do apologize. 
So now we're back at uh, the quilt and we can check out and see how Grandpa Ted is doing. So yeah, it's Grandpa Ted here now. I forgot to check when uh, the shadow creature was kind of progressing here. Um, I'll, I'll try and do that a bit later, but um, yeah, so it's just kind of cool that you can see him now. He, he really needs to tie his shoes. Oh my goodness, that sound glitch. And watch the clouds when I turn. They kind of stay with me. It's funny. Um, I'm not going into this level, but I'm just showing that they'll probably have different dialogue. Ned, I'll make you sick with fear. So she's not a very good doctor if you make someone sick. So yeah, that's, that's her. I think she's probably the scariest one out of all of them, or at least in my opinion. The, 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 uh, uh, I can't talk. Uh, the Grim Reaper one is pretty freaky too. But she's all spiky, so that's scary. Uh, this guy will probably have something new to say. Dare you to enter this nightmare! Yeah. So it's cool that they have different dialogue when you come back. And there's. Spirals in the clouds, there's spirals on the, uh, I've just completely forgotten how to talk today. Uh, there's spirals on the quilt kind of to my left a little bit. Um, so yeah, this, uh, is a completed shadow creature now. And she's got a little animation. You can see that, um, when they made the transparency, behind the character animations that they put them on like a green screen uh, and then like colored that out I guess so you can see the green around her wheels and I could be wrong but I think that's what happened she needs to tie her shoes too um, so yeah we'll go back and check out the bathroom one and the bathroom one should have new dialogue as well okay So that is a reference to Little Shop of Horrors with uh, Feed Me Seymour. So we're gonna go this way and I think it's gonna replay that toilet animation that we saw but that's okay. And there's a new animation for each area that you go into so that's kind of cool as well. Whee! So yeah, yucky pipes and stuff. So this animation's different, but we still come into the bathroom like this. Okay. And we're back. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna end it here, um, and in the next part we'll either pick up here or we'll go to the Dr. Dentist level depending on the comments and if nobody says anything I'll just continue here. Um, but yeah, so, and no rat glitch, so that's awesome. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just go over here. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I will leave it here. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. I have a friend at school named Beth. I'll try not to lose it. <laughs> he has a friend at school named Bathroom. <laughs> okay, see you guys in the next one.